A ransomware attack has disabled Texas courts' websites and services. In Privacy Watch now, government computers in 22 Texas towns are being held hostage by ransomware. Ransomware is exactly what it says. Uh, of course, you've heard it. Adware, malware, spyware, where somebody infects your computer uh, or any of your, your electronic equipment. Ransomware simply means that if you want access back to your data, you have to pay a ransom. Just like when they used to kidnap somebody in the movies, they may or may not get the person back. And if you don't pay the ransom, you don't have access to your computers. Yeah, and how bad it is uh, in reality throughout uh, the United States and possibly other countries? Well, it, 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 it's, it, it's really escalated the last three years. Uh, the first attack was back in 1989 um, with floppy disk, Ernesto. Somebody created 20,000 floppy disks, mailed them out, and they infected the uh, HIV AIDS researchers. It was horrible that they go after those kind of uh, uh, entities that are trying to do good but they shut down the research. And now it's not floppy disk. So it's how does it happen now? It's, a, it's, a, it's an email attachment. It's, it's, a, it's a, something that comes in Messenger. It's a pop-up that comes in. Uh, it, it's just clicking on the wrong tag. And it could be, it could be in Slack. It could be in, in Dropbox. It could be a, a hyperlink of a document that a, a coworker shared with another coworker. But we're, we're clicking on wrong things that allow the crooks to get into our network. So who, who are the uh, crooks actually targeting? I mean, they must have a target specific in mind. Well, they, they're going after, have no, nobody's immune, number one. But, but I get this question a lot. And, and I think the best way to answer it is they're going after the medical community. They're going after the educational community. They're going after social, social workers uh, type of community. And they're going after the small to medium-sized businesses. And here's why. They're pro-social orientated type businesses. They, they believe in a benevolent society. They wanna heal, they wanna, they wanna teach, you know, they wanna uh, help with social work. And so therefore those people are more likely to fall for the social engineering aspect of ransomware, which is, which is the art of deception to manipulate somebody to give up information they normally wouldn't give up but because they live in this benevolent world, they're at a higher risk. And then the small business, they just don't have the resources to fight against it. This is super scary. So if you're in any of those uh, social businesses, I think it's very important that you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can keep aware all the time of what's going on. And uh, um, Frank, possibly it's a good idea if you actually share with everybody, which is in this kind of business, how uh, we can help them and at what price. <laughs> well, and, and, that, and that's what's interesting because uh, Ernesto, if they just contact us with the information below, reach out to us. 95% uh, of my clients that I help around the world, uh, I don't charge them uh, and, and none of us do uh, for helping them to build a culture of awareness to help them and their staff understand it. Uh, for instance, I just uh, got across my desk this morning, uh, four ISDs in Texas, hit with ransomware, four ISDs. One of them was a, 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 an ISD called Athens. It only cost them $50,000. Now this is all in the last six months, but then we had Nacogdoches, which is 10 miles from there, $200,000 to get their computers back. Then Sheldon ISD right down here in Houston, Last week, $350,000 to get their stuff back. And then the big one was one up in Austin, Texas, Mana ISD. $2.3 million, Ernesto. Wow. Small business can't afford to pay that kind of money. Yeah. You have to be able to be aware of how it's happening and take the steps to train your employees and again, we can come in and do a virtual or a live lunch and learn a, a cyber awareness training to help them deter, to help them to detect and help them defend. Uh, contact us below.